Hey everyone, in this video, let's do a comparison of QDRANT and Chroma DB. In order to do so, here we are at trychroma.com and we're also at QDRANT, QDRANT at tech. tech. Uh, in order to do a comparison, let's ask Cider AI. And according to Cider, when considering QDRANT or Chroma DB, it's important to understand their features, use cases, and how they fit into the landscape of vector databases and similarity search technologies. Below is a comparison of the two. QDRANT is an open source vector similarity search engine designed to handle large scale, high dimensional data while providing efficient indexing and searching capabilities. It's particularly well suited for applications in machine learning and AI where working with embeddings is common. Its key features include natively supporting high dimensional vector data, making it ideal for tasks like image retrieval, recommendation systems, and natural language processing. It supports real time indexing and updates, allowing dynamic data insertion and deletion without significant performance drops. It's built to scale horizontally, making it suitable for large data sets and high traffic applications. It enables filtering on additional metadata alongside vector similarity searches. QDRANT, QDRANT is a open source provided providing flexibility and the ability to modify the code base as needed. It's image and video searches where uh, similarity in features is important. Building recommendation systems that rely on user embedding uses natural language processing tasks such as document similarity and search engines. Chroma DB, on the other hand, is an open source vector database primarily designed for managing embeddings and optimizing similarity searches. It is increasingly popular for integrating AI models and their outputs into applications that require fast access to vector data. Chroma DB emphasizes user friendliness with its simple APIs and ease of integration with existing workflows, it supports rich metadata associated with embeddings, enabling more complex queries. It offers the ability to annotate embeddings with additional data, enhancing search capabilities. It's capable of handling dynamic ingestion of new data and updates efficiently. It is uh, Chroma DB encourages contribution from the community, promoting a collaborative development environment. Use cases include implementing search features in applications that leverage AI generated embeddings and creating AI model outputs repositories for efficient retrieval and comparison, supporting applications where real time data access and updates are critical. In conclusion, choose QD Rant if you need a robust and scalable solution, primarily for vector similarity searches with a strong focus on performance. It's ideal for applications that need to handle high dimensional data efficiently. On the other hand, choose Chroma DB if you prioritize ease of use, meta, rich metadata handling, and community driven development. It's particularly beneficial for applications centered around AI model outputs and real time data interaction. Both QD Rant and Chroma DB offer valuable vector features for vector data management, but your choice should depend on your specific needs and the architecture of your applications. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe. And don't forget to set your notifications for more helpful tips. Also, if you are interested in taking advantage of Cider AI, take a look at the description for this video and you will find a link to our link tree. There you will find information on our upcoming intro to AI webinars, as well as a discount code Skillcraft60 for Centra AI, giving you 60% off your subscription. And you can find links to Cider AI and and Enzobot. Click on those links to get started. You'd be helping us out as well, and we would greatly appreciate it.